My name is Elena, and I'm one of the co-founders of People. People stands for Pinoy's in Pursuit of Learning. Um, what inspired us to create this nonprofit organization is the realization that we are actually blessed here to be working in Silicon Valley, California, to be amongst the best of the best when it comes to science and technology. And uh, the mission of people is actually to promote and inspire uh, to promote STEM or science and technology to our public high school students in the Philippines and inspire them to be future experts, leaders, and change makers in the field. Um, but we also extend that scope, not just uh, beyond STEM, um, but it, it's really more like to um, promote the love of learning uh, for these young students. Um, we were um, also triggered by the study that one of um, the Filipinos conducted in the Philippines where 70% of the teenagers in the Philippines do not have dreams. Mm -hmm. So we want to be a part of the solution for that. So as a young and small organization purely led by volunteers, who have their own day jobs, you know, we do this on the side. What we started to do pre-pandemic was uh, to have an, insp an inspiring uh, series of talks to public high schools. So we were able to do that for one high school before the pandemic hit. And when the pandemic hit, we had to pivot, um, you know, to, to do an online or a virtual series of talks. And we started with a mental health talk because at that time, you know, um, during the pandemic, even the students and the teachers, um, when we asked them for what their needs are, this is one of the things that they brought up is kind of just to learn about how to handle the pandemic. Um, we also pivoted uh, during the pandemic to um, providing resources for the schools to um, to be able to do online learning. So in the Philippines, not everyone can afford the internet. Um, not everyone can afford their own devices and computers. And even some schools have struggled in getting their um, internet set up. So we were able to, um, to donate some, through our fundraising efforts, we were able to donate some um, um, modem devices to the schools, as well as internet prepaid cards to the students who need it. And um, so, so uh, for a while, our series of talks had stopped. Uh, we recently, um, we recently reignited that and resumed that through another virtual talk where we featured a successful um, tech entrepreneur in the Philippines and. Um, you know, got to know more about him. And then he got to share a lot of stories. And we're hoping that his story have inspired the students that we talked to. And soon, we are also going to launch a mentorship program where we will be able to connect um, successful Filipino professionals to students, to, to high school students. That's something that I personally did not have growing up and a lot of us who are in the people team did not have. So we are hoping that this is another way of um, connecting that gap and sharing resources to our young students in the Philippines, especially those in public high school, high schools who may not have the same access as private school students would have. And so the partnership with Sailor really comes at a good time too, because it provides for us another learning platform, another channel for our students to learn not just technical skills through your courses, but um, also leadership and soft skills that you guys, you guys offer. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, sure. Well, be before that, I also I just want to emphasize our gratitude to Sailor for uh, agreeing to do this partnership with us, given that we are such a small group and, you know, for, we, we are we are young, we're only starting. So thank you for giving us this opportunity. And my message to any 
student, especially in the Philippines, who is watching this. Um, I don't have a quote off the top of my head, but um, my only wish is that, you know, give yourself a chance to dream. You know, dreaming is what, um, we, what, what inspires us to continue to live and, you know, like to chase for something. And I hope that you will consider um, going into science and tech because our country needs that today. Um, our country can only be really rebuilt if we have innovators and creators and, um, you know, people who try to solve problems for, for the nation. So I, I hope that someday you will be that. Um, as our national hero said uh, in, in, in Filipino, if I may say that first in Filipino, then I will translate. It's that um, ang kabataan, ang pag-asa ng bayan, which translates to the youth is the hope of the country. Mm -hmm.